Whether it's a dog being attacked by another dog, a dog biting a person, or even harassment from a dog, we take all incidents very seriously in the city of PAE. We have a team of community safety officers who work hard to ensure people feel comfortable and safe when out walking on our streets, in our parks, or at our beaches. They are available 24 seven to respond to these matters. A quick response is vital after a dog attack, so it's really important that an incident is reported as soon as possible. Community safety officers will first ensure the dog is securely contained and will then conduct an investigation to determine what happened and what steps need to be taken to prevent any further incidents. If a dog attack is not reported, we can't take steps to prevent another one. A minor incident reported on a first occasion may potentially prevent a more serious attack in the future. A community safety officer will attend as soon as possible to gather evidence, including taking statements from victims and witnesses, and gather other supporting evidence such as photos and hospital or vet reports. The dog owner will be interviewed to get their version of events. The officer will assess the circumstances, the actions of the dog owner and evidence to decide whether any actions required to prevent further attacks. Depending on the circumstances, we may issue warning or expiation notices for offences under the Dog and Cat Management Act, impose a control order such as a nuisance, menacing, dangerous or destruction order, or even commence prosecutions where the breach of legislation is too serious or the risk is too great to be dealt with via an expiation. As with everything that a council does, there are rules and procedures that need to be followed. Depending on the severity of the attack, some dogs may be seized straight away. However, in other cases, we ensure the owner takes appropriate action to prevent a further incident. In any case, we must always have the evidence to prove we have the right dog. The last thing we want to do is have the wrong dog. A control order imposes additional restrictions for dogs, which may be declared nuisance, menacing or dangerous. The restrictions vary depending on the order, but may include the dog to be de-sexed, microchipped, wear a muzzle and dangerous dog collar, be kept in a securely fenced enclosure, or for the owner to complete dangerous dog training course. This is the last step and not one that we want to take often, but some animals are not safe to be in the community. For this to happen, a dog must be considered unduly dangerous and have attacked in circumstances considered an offence against the Dog and Cat Management Act. This is usually one for the most serious dog attacks or where the dog has been involved in multiple dog attacks. It's important for dog owners to understand their dogs and what they're capable of, as all dogs can bite under the right circumstances. Make sure you have effective control of your dog in public places or when at home, making sure your dog can't escape through any fences, gates or doors. A lot of dog attacks we investigate are by dogs which are not contained appropriately. Ensuring your yard is secure and that your dog has enough enrichment activities to keep them entertained will ensure they don't wander in the community. Our community safety officers can provide advice should you have concerns with your own dog.